Test, Test. Hallo, hallo, hallo. Wow! Dieses Event äh, ist eigentlich ein sehr entspanntes Event für uns. Ähm, da wir uns nicht so sehr vorbereiten konnten und das, ähm, sage ich mal, das äh, Teilnehmerfeld sehr äh, schwer ist in der Hinsicht. Es sind vielleicht nicht die besten Teams hier, aber es sind sehr viele unangenehme Gegner hier. Und das wissen wir, deswegen versuchen wir so entspannt, wie es geht, an die Sache heranzugehen. Wir versuchen uns nicht selber Druck zu machen und ist halt ein Swiss-System, da geht man halt nicht immer 3-0 raus. Auch wenn man der Favorit ist, hat man auf dem Major auch gesehen. Da kann man halt auch mal 0-2 gehen und dann erst alles turnen. Also deswegen gibt es hier und da auf jeden Fall, äh, wird es auch Überraschungen geben. Und deswegen schätze ich uns, äh, mit, mit einer top 4 Platzierung wären wir absolut zufrieden, denke ich. Ähm, Playoffs an sich und dann kommt drauf an, gegen wen man spielt. Aber ich will hier äh, auf jeden Fall gute Spiele, gute Fights abliefern. Ich will nicht wieder wie gegen Navi ähm, äh, zerfleischt werden. Und äh, es hat sich auch nicht angefühlt, als ob wir gegen sie richtig spielen konnten. Also ich will auf jeden Fall fighten. Aber wie gesagt, ähm, es kann hier viel passieren. Das sind Teams, gegen die man wirklich nicht mag zu spielen. Komplexe die ist auch jetzt ein Gegner, ein Gambit, welches jetzt besser spielt. Also das sind viele Teams, die auf jeden Fall uns äh, wehtun können. I tell you what, we don't have to wait any longer, Halber. We're in game. A big over on that CT side of Fragsters. They're going to be uh, kicking things off over on the T side as we come to expect it. See two smokes, Molotov and a flash. Ooh, that's a nice opening from next. Any sort of plans that Fragsters had in this round has just gone to waste. Let's just gonna find one or two. Oh! Next is on the point right now. Oh! Finds the kill, but Next is able to trade. There is still a rifle here. Oh no. No, he does not. Bubsky's gonna go ahead and just perish him in the flames. They're gonna go back in. Stavon goes oh. running through, but no. Oh! Nice! Big red to pull it back. Surely this time Fragsters do not let them. A match point for big, overtime point for Fraxes. They found both the kills in Fraxes. They're going to be uh, carrying this one through to overtime. Come on, Titi, you just flash and what should I do with the flash? two kills is all that separates them from besting big here in their first game of the day. And Dragonfly wrapping round. He's going to go ahead and topple next. It's got to be the IGL, the man at the helm of big. And he's going to go ahead and get shut down. Fraxes picking up this match. And oh my goodness. Ich denke, der, die, die Niederlage gegen Fraxas konnte so passieren, dass wir heute ähm, ein bisschen ein paar Fehler gemacht haben, ein paar Kommunikationsfehler und sie ansonsten eigentlich auch ein recht solides Team sind. Also ich äh, empfinde es jetzt nicht als Blamage, gegen sie zu verlieren. War halt ein knappes Game. Hätte, wir hätten es auch 16-10, äh, 16-11 äh, closen können und dann hätten wir von einem normalen Tag geredet. Aber so ist halt, dass sie äh, zurückgekommen sind. Das ist halt ein... Best-of-One-System, wo man halt mal gegen ein, ich sag mal, auf dem Papier vielleicht schlechter das Team verliert, aber äh, wir machen uns nicht so großen Kopf, gucken die Demo, ähm, lernen vielleicht das ein oder andere auf Nuke und äh, versuchen so besser zu werden. Aber ich denke, ähm, wir machen uns da jetzt nicht so einen großen Kopf drüber. Dude, 49, man. Suck my f***ing small Why do we not win this game? Good suck already. Father's story. I don't know what you're talking about. We have the first one. No. That's all. Because we have one and one and one. And we have three and two. Spot is back, by the way. We have two clutches that we have already lost. And the fucking anti-eco. It's a good game for us, man. Du weißt nicht, wie, sehr, wie gut wir jetzt Banane unter Kontrolle haben. Wir haben keine Ahnung, was die hitten wird. Ne. So, wir haben Stats. Die in einem Haus, wir können nicht einfach b rushen? Fuck. Ich Dann denke, dass die Cash das 2 bannen, plus 1. Das heißt, es wird Train oder Overpass, wenn wir Inferno bannen wollen. Außer wir spielen Inferno. Ne, wir spielen Inferno. Okay, dann, dann wird's Inferno. Wir sollten uns Inferno vorbereiten und Inferno spielen. Ja, okay. Und dann haben wir das mal. He still only has 8 HP, he's looking for hey. another kill, and he ends it with a headshot. Absolute domination from Optic. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'll, I'll be surprised if we see a more one side again today. Yeah. Um, so like towards the start of the event, when we were losing, we lost to Frogsters and got destroyed by Optic. Um, it was just a mentality thing. We thought we're going to walk over these people very easily, so we didn't prepare that well. It happened in the Major when we thought we were going to beat Vega Squadron and then Complexity, and we were like, Holy hell, we're one, two down. Um, and like our actual mentality kicks in, preparing for teams, like anti-shotting them and so on and so on. 
So yeah, we were just like lazy, like personally, like I, I didn't prepare at all for any of them. Like I didn't even set up my gear against Optic. Like I didn't even deathmatch once, which isn't me. Like I always play. Um, so yeah, we just had to refocus and just go from there. Oh. Eventually, so Skiri's going to spot these players and he gets himself a second as well. Falling back to the site, the two more left up on Flexity. This should be a dunk here. And Smoo was just lining them up. But he's just been caught out in this round. Smoo got stuck with his aggression. Tizian is now trying to save him. He's all alone. He's actually managed to find himself a couple of kills and making this one look slightly possible. They're going to come back around. Tizian, he gets a third. Now Tapson. This comes without big having too much information. And they're going to flash on through. Death is going to close. The Gopi's going to take him down. Smoo has his back covered. It's just a tag team duo from these two. Gopi with another. And Shazam, he's going to get one tag. And this could get very, very dicey for Smooya. Death's trying to close the distance, but he's too fast. Pistol's out. Gopi doesn't realize, but the call's been made. Android's behind enemy lines, and he has found himself a kill, but surely that's going to be it. That's some digs to Dent as well. Both players to be lowered on end their HP. He's going to go down to Gob. Really looking to try and knock this, this, uh, this game home. Let's get aggressive. Or do you Captain Morwen. Well, Captain Moore wasn't having a bad day already. It's uh, definitely getting their tabs. He's having the complete opposite. Finds the Excurate as well. 16 to 10 for Big. Eventually, they do manage to close it out. We did see a bit of a spurt from Tyloo towards the end there. But grind out style and they just beat them in basically kind of like oh. an ugly game against oh strike so big like, versus mal immediately to off with. we've got one where like on the one hand you look at that and in this isolated scenario it feels unfair for big yeah it's like i have to beat mouse spots to get in the playoffs but first of all it's a best of one so you've got a shot at yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. secondly if you do beat them that's a team that you might have had to face in a best of three later you want to eliminate them now if you can and then thirdly you're only in this position to be fair because you did lose to some lesser teams that weren't the big Kind of smoke him on for the time being. Flashed down, but Rops discovered and dealt with courtesy of Tizzy. And if he does, Oscar gonna spot out the offer for Big. But Tizzy has the crossfire set up instantly there for the trade. Yeah, yeah, that's with Boy, with Boy. It's looking very likely like this could be a 13 to 2. He's going back and forth, and Gobby's gonna get taken out. The Taps is still alive, and he's just finding player after player after player. Yeah, continuing his reign of terror inside of this B-Bomb site, a cemented match point here. No! 15 to 11. There's no time here. The bomb's out in the open, and that's the round. Mouse Sports have done it on time alone. We're going through to overtime. And for Big to have it all fall apart because of the timing at the end, that is absolutely devastating. You can see. <laughs> I'm on it, I'm on it. Could be a blessing, could be a curse though, just as easy because everyone inside of this bomb site's fallen. Tizzy is going to get spotted by Sunny. They do tag him up and now Snacks oh! holding nice down the fall. angle is going to fall prey to Tizzy on that peak. 16 and 16 all tied up here. He's fixated on this position. Flash on out. They do manage to get by, but there's Smooya smiting down Oscar. He's able to go ahead, pick up the first, looking for a little bit more, and walking into his crosshair, going to be rough. Smooya, head on a swivel, having a look left. And right, it's going to go ahead. Combining with Tizia now, we see this go this all tied up. Absent is going to fall. It's the UK hope. Smooya now is to be the hope of Germany as well, to keep big in this one. And there's the first frag on a sunny. Smooya, 1v1, and Snack's going to get the bomb down. Edging his way in. Gonna be everything does. Oh, no! smoke and Smooya holds his own. He's gonna find it. The cheering starts back up for Big. 18 to 17. They retake the lead and reach match point here on their CT side. We've seen Big bested by the bomb timer a couple of times, but no. Next chiming in with one more. It's Oscar and Chris J. The dynamic orping duo usually. Chris J on this rifle at ramp. They tap the bomb, trying to bait the peaks on in. But the trades come through and Big hold their own. Have to get on that defuse and they're going to. There's just enough time left for it and Big. They're going to be closing this out in overtime at 19 to 7. <laughs> Woo!
Ich denke, ich denk, Goppe ist der einzig wahre Leader in Deutschland. Ich denke, es, es gibt keinen, Deutsch, keinen in Deutschland, dem, der vergleichsweise gut ist. Weder in der Leaderrolle noch in der IGL-Rolle. Ähm, Fatih ist ein richtiger Team-Captain. Er macht dir auch mal Feuer unterm Arsch, wenn was nicht läuft. Ähm, er versteht dich aber auch, wenn es mal nicht so läuft bei dir. Läuft. Du musst dich halt einfach nur gut mit ihm unterhalten. Er ist auch ein sehr empathischer Mensch. Also er versteht auch eigentlich immer, was jetzt dein was jetzt ein Problem ist und versucht dir dann auch daraus zu helfen. Also wie gesagt, Fatih ist für mich einer der oder vielleicht sogar der beste Leader, den es im ganzen Game gibt oder mit dem ich zumindest gespielt habe. Also nach einer Niederlage sind wir alle sehr frustriert natürlich, aber trotzdem versuchen wir uns direkt nach dem, nach dem Spiel nicht darüber zu unterhalten. Wir beruhigen uns erstmal eine Stunde, damit man nicht aus diesem Heat of the Moment vielleicht was Falsches sagt, weil wir sind alles sehr gute Freunde und ähm, so ein, eine Niederlage wirkt sich nicht so auf unsere persönlichen Beziehungen aus, sondern es wird halt sehr viel dann ingame kritisiert und deswegen sollte man erstmal eine Stunde ein bisschen chillen, ein bisschen den Ball flach halten, nicht, dass das dann irgendwie persönlich wird, weil wir wollen nie jemanden persönlich angreifen im Team, wir sind wirklich eine Einheit und äh, deswegen versuchen wir es auch so, uns so zu verhalten. Also gegen Maus zu gewinnen ist immer sehr wichtig, weil Maus neben uns und natürlich SK die erfolgreichste deutsche Orga ist, zumindest in Counter-Strike. Ja, deswegen ist es unglaublich wichtig, auch für nicht nur für uns Spieler, sondern auch für unsere Organisation, dass wir gegen solche Organisationen dann auch gewinnen. I'd just be silent. Yeah. If, if, they do, if they do this, then he likes to go here and go in here. Area's position here, here, or in main. Okay, this is like the three most likely position from him. And Butter, you can spam from here, with off, between second and third. And you know how, yeah, how I do it? Remco Listen, Butter, you, I want you to make more moves on A. You are the insane player on A. You drop down. Go in hut with off maybe, go like this, contact him here, and now we pressure this guy. Let's say we mollow them. Okay, we smoke deep, Titi, and you mollow like this area, and he holds this. Maybe he makes a mistake, white feet, boom, that. Okay? And uh, at least then you, he knows, oh, I can't play for free here. And uh, I stay, uh, 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 you go, like, I don't know who plays the scout. If, if you don't play, you come main, hold main, drop down vents, and then go uh, up gun. Yeah. The rank seven has just cleaned up everything. Fifteen to eleven, and one round away from taking their opponent's map pick. Got beat to take some control, and when he's hitting his shots, Tapson and got beat. You don't normally see two orbs in these sort of positions, but it has worked wonderfully and left X7 all alone. Got <laughs> beat! Oh. Oh. Uh, Smoo your who? <laughs> Sergey just about survived. Nice shot from Tizzy, and though he gets a second as well, looking for more in towards this site, but Alexi B puts down got beat, and it's oh. left all the Tizzy, and he finds all of them! It's going to overtime! This map is quiet throughout the map, but he picks up four. Spray wild from Smooya, but he's found himself too. It's now left all on Glano, and he'll catch him in the air. Headshot as well. What a clutch from Smooya. And while that's going to be another round on the board, 20 now.
still a chance for X7 though. He's got that AWP, just one shot needed and so many angles for Tizian to check around the corner and he finds it as well though. Big, they are going to be taking their map pick. It definitely wasn't an easy task. And while Ents, they're going to be kicking themselves. They had four map points at one point. They now will go into their choice of nuke after what is a long battle and what I will and he makes a, a smoke that he can uh, cross, so uh, we need to uh, be aware of that. What, are, what is their favorite strategy? Their favorite strategy is main split, okay? And we know every position, okay? What's a good position? t band is not bad. Okay, who's doing it? Joe. You go left side on ramp and stay there. Yarosh, you go first. Buta, you follow him. This way, Brandt, okay? If he can drop this bomb, it could make things a little bit more difficult for his opponents. But again, it's like the rounding of the corners, oh. but there we go. Two quick kills for Sergei. Now Smooya is left to try and save this for his team. And Sergei knows it's all about timing. He's going to hear Smooya running around. And he has absolutely no clue where Sergei has gone. And in the end, Alexi B will close it. A nice little round from Sergei and a much better performance from what we saw in the first map from Ents. And well, of course, as expected, this is going to a third. Yeah, finding a couple of kills there from the connector. Still Smooya and Tizian left standing with no shot from Tizian. It may keep them in this, but he's going to need to do it all alone. Already been spotted. Flash out. He's going to rush down this Ivy, but X7 has finished it off. He's got his number and ends have 16. That is going to be them going through to the semi finals. The biggest smile I've ever seen. Thank you so much. You're quite a number of passes. So <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. You don't um, the only thing that keeps me playing Counter Strike, most people say, yeah, I love the game. I love it. I just love being a lot better than this guy at something he thinks he's good at. So when I was a kid, it was football. Then I got good at Call of Duty. Then I got good at Halo, all on console. And then I got good at World of Warcraft, just because I had friends who were like, oh, I'm better than you at this. So I'd play it for a year and then be way better than them. And it was the same with CS. I had friends who were like, dude, you'll never be as good as I am at CS. And they were like, globally, and I was like silver four. And in two weeks, I was like high at rank than them, you know? So yeah, it's kind of just the drive to be better than people. I wouldn't say like, being a star is something to, to be happy about. It's kind of like almost something that most people can't handle because there's a lot of players who get hyped up so badly and then they fail. And I'm kind of just waiting for that to happen to me. So maybe in two months I'll be really bad. Who knows, right? But it's been, the year's been good. It's been, it's been okay. Could have been better, but it's been okay. Future for myself holds. Whatever big wants. If we want to win events, we'll win events. If we want to lose, we'll lose. We do it all as a team. I have no intentions in going anywhere. Most teams are really bad and no team works as hard as us. So I know in a year, if it takes a year or two years, we'll be the best team in the world eventually. So uh, My shout outs will always be all of our sponsors that you see on our jersey, our beautiful jersey. Um, Shout out to everyone on Big, everyone in Big, the guy behind the camera, the beautiful gentleman. Even Phil, he's not here. The owners, Yilmaz, Daniel, Nuran. Uh, kind of my second family now. Before, at the beginning it was kind of weird. Now I've embraced it, they've embraced me. Uh, yeah, life's good. Oh, God, you expect to get my stock here. No.